Hi, it's Joel from Dicom Electric again. Uh, we're just going to show you how to strip a uh, 14 3 wire, um, just the conductors inside. So this could be a very handy tip. Um, essentially, we always use these uh, wire strippers. Uh, mostly in the trades, they use these because uh, you've seen some of the uh, other hinge pliers with the strippers on the on the lower side. And they don't work as uh, well. I've been using these for 11, uh, 12 years, so they're always quick. Always uh, no uh, notches on the uh, or the actual copper part of the wire, and that's what's really important. You don't want to dig into this wire when you strip it. So sometimes you could actually do it so it's almost cut. Oh, that's cut all the way. But anyways, we uh, have some gauges here. So we have uh, 18 gauge, 16 gauge, 14 gauge, 12 gauge, and 10 gauge. So those work out perfectly when the the thing is closed. It'll actually show. Um, the proper size for the uh, wire conductor. So um, you you could also use these to do your curls. So this is a very handy one. It doesn't have the uh, little latch that closes it, which makes it easy to hold in your uh, pants pockets. But uh, yeah, these are pretty good uh, strippers. Um, so essentially, uh, we'll just show you on uh, the black conductor. So we'll line up our 14 gauge in our proper uh, uh, slot here, and then we'll strip it, and there you go. Just like that, that's pretty easy. And then if you have to make a loop, I usually use it, my finger here, kind of give me the proper depth. And then I'll uh, curl it around, pulling kind of down on it. And then that will give us a nice little loop. So that's almost perfect here. So you put it around a uh, screw uh, clockwise and we'll just mount it like that. And then when you do it clockwise, it pulls it tighter. So it does a real nice uh, connection on that. So that's a good one for a receptacle or uh, what have you. A lot of the new uh, switches have flaps on them, so they'll actually work out nicer to have about that length, maybe a bit more. So you gotta check your strip length um, on the gauge to see what you need it for. There's all different ones. Sometimes this works good for a GFI length as well. Um, they have flaps. So essentially, it's, it's pretty easy, especially with this kind of wire. Some of the older casings are really hard to have cloth in it or uh, what have you, but uh, this is a pretty easy. The new wire nowadays are pretty easy to do, so there's another loop for you. So there you go. This is the wire we just uh, ran for our three-wire uh, demo. And uh, there you go. We got uh, different uh, things going on here, but we got our loops, and that's how quick it is and easy it is to strip. Again, I don't recommend the ones that uh, use that you go on the inside of it and you try to strip it in the inside. Just take a bit longer. I could see them using it for automobiles, but uh, for electrical, we we'll always use these. They're very handy and very quick. So there you go. Proper, always check to make sure like you're not cutting into the copper. If you become loose, it's really bad because then it can break off and it doesn't let the power flow through properly. So there you go, that's the little demo and stripping the wire and then hopefully that helped to give you a nice, good, solid, professional connection.